He died on the battlefield more than 500 years ago. The English king who Shakespeare made famous with his line, my kingdom for a horse. But his final resting place remained a mystery. Turns out it was hardly regal. King Richard III was found buried under a parking lot. And as Sean Mallon reports, it was thanks to help from a Canadian-born descendant that experts made the final confirmation. At last, the first public view of the famous bones, the spine bent with scoliosis, the skull with clear signs of fatal battle injuries, and from the team at Leicester University, the confirmation of a stunning find. That beyond reasonable doubt, the individual exhumed at Greyfriars in September 2012 is indeed Richard III, the last Plantagenet King of England. It was the climactic moment of an astonishing and unlikely series of events. Now is the winter of our discontent. Richard probably wasn't the villain portrayed by Shakespeare, but the real king did, as shown in the play, die in the 1485 Battle of Bosworth Field. His remains were then misplaced in nearby Leicester for about 500 years, until latter-day enthusiasts proposed what sounded like a crackpot idea dig up a parking lot in the center of the city where he might have been buried. To the astonishment of all, they found a skeleton that appeared to fit the bill. This skeleton, in fact, has a hunchback. But they needed to prove it scientifically. Osteologist Joe Appleby's analysis of the bones revealed that they were of the right time period, the right age, and had the right kind of battle wounds. All of these are highly consistent with the information that we have about Richard III in life. The most definitive evidence came from Canadian geneticist Turi King, who took a DNA sample from another Canadian, Michael Ibsen, Richard's 17th generation nephew. She also had a cross-reference sample from another unnamed descendant. It all matched. In short, the DNA evidence points to these being the remains of Richard III. A result that became clear in a eureka moment around Christmas time. And then I have to admit, I did a little dance around the lab. <laughs> Because it was just so amazing, yeah. It's a pretty mind-blowing bit, um, bit of information to digest. So now the planning begins for a royal reburial, likely sometime next year. The city of York has put in a claim, but as the mayor of Leicester told me, we've got the bones. And so the earthly remains of the last of the Plantagenet kings will be reinterred here at Leicester Cathedral. And his distant Canadian nephew hopes to be there. Sean Mallon, Global News, Leicester, England.